Good morning, y'all. We're here in New Waverly, Texas at Union Ranch. If you're watching this video, you're probably either a farmer, a rancher, or agricultural producer. Maybe you're considering running your own spray drone for your own operation. Maybe you're thinking about starting your own custom spray business. In this video, we will give you a better idea of what all that takes. We've been spraying with drones for about 12 months, and based on our experiences, these drones pay for themselves faster than any other farm equipment. This morning, we're gonna take you step-by-step step through an actual herbicide spray job for one of our customers. At the end of the video, we'll give you some examples of how you can earn enough money with your drone to be able to recover initial costs within six to 12 months, literally turning dirt into dollars. We do like to start out with a, a safety briefing. Um, we want everybody to leave here today with all their fingers and toes and uh, in, in the same health that they came onto the job with. I'm working with my family here, so obviously safety is a big thing for all of us. We do face some risks here. Uh, we have a drone that has large, sharp blades uh, in close proximity to the workers. Sometimes we're working from heights, so we want to be very aware of fall risk. We also are working with chemicals. We still like to take precaution with our, our PPE, gloves, uh, if necessary, glasses. And if, if the chemical makeup is right, we'll even wear a mask or potentially a respirator. Typically, we don't have to do that, but it's something that we like to be aware of. And one of the last things that we like to be aware of that's kind of unique to Texas is, we're out in an open field here. We're flying our drone. Say something goes wrong and the drone crashes. Our first reaction is gonna be to run across that field and try to see what's going on. Well, we tend to have copperheads and rattlesnakes in abundance out in these pastures. So we like to remind each other, don't charge off into the grass unaware, pay attention to your surroundings and watch the ground as you're moving towards what your situation is in the field. We all like to work together and be aware of whatever potential hazards we might face during a job. If somebody sees something that is a potential hazard or a risk to someone's safety, we will stop the job, take care of that risk, and then resume our work in a safe manner. Okay, with the safety meeting out of the way, we're ready to start our job, and let's go do that now. All right, so today we're out here on a beautiful, wide open 60 acre property. We're gonna be spraying some herbicide applications. That's gonna get rid of the existing weeds we've got, and then we're gonna also do a pre-emergent to get it nice and ready for springtime. We're gonna be over here at the mixing tank with these chemicals. I'm gonna show you exactly what it takes to get these chemicals in the tank, get them mixed up and ready for our drone. All right, and now we're gonna start with our mix. We've got our proper PPE with our glasses on. We've got the apron for mixing and loading our chemicals. We've got gloves, long sleeve shirt, and pants on. Now he's gonna hand me some of these chemicals. We're gonna put it in our mixing tank we've got here. We don't have it running yet, it'll be agitating, but that pump is a little loud, so we're just gonna get these chemicals in there for now. Thank you. So we're gonna go over a little pre-flight checklist here, which includes looking over your propellers. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there's no chips or cracks in them. You're gonna to wanna to go over your bolts and nuts here. Make sure they're nice and tight so your propellers don't fly off during flight. Then you're gonna to wanna to come over here, make sure your atomizing discs don't have any chips or cracks in them so you get a nice even micron distribution. You're gonna to want to go over each one of these clamps here. Make sure they're nice and tight, don't go nowhere. We'll do that here. And then we have clamps that hold the top to the bottom. You're gonna to wanna to make sure those are in place and tight. And we're good to go. Instead of running off of general satellites, which give you about one to three meters of accuracy, this is gonna bring that down to inches of accuracy. So there will be no movement of the drone. It'll land in the same spot. 
it'll fly in the same spot and you'll see no drift of the drone at all. Then we will move to turning on our remote. And then we will get some batteries in the drone and we'll turn that on. Okay, folks, we've had a successful day killing weeds and um, getting ready for next spring. Should have some very pretty pasture grass out here. The day went really well. So we're gonna finish up here. I wanna just emphasize a little bit about cleanup and maintaining your gear. One thing we've noticed with our experience is the cleaner we keep stuff, the better off we are. Check your battery contacts. Make sure you don't have any of the connections arcing from dirt in your connections. Keep your drone very clean. It'll save you a lot of headaches in maintenance and repairs over the long run. And finally, we always make sure, and it's actually required um, by rules, that we triple rinse everything. We triple rinse our tank and our drone, our mixing tanks, even our, our clean water tanks. We just wanna make sure that the whole outfit is spick and span after this job so that we're ready to roll on the next one. We do sell drones. Uh, we are a dealer for Raptor Dynamic but we're also spray applicators. And one thing I wanted to address is there's a lot of times I'll see um, salespeople telling people kind of ridiculous claims that they can make this kind of money and that kind of money. And we don't ever want to be those guys. Um, we want you to be realistic about your expectations with this business. It is hard work. You'll be out in the hot sun for 10, 12 hours a day. Don't underestimate it. And we're not going to pump a bunch of sunshine up your keister and tell you that you're going to become a millionaire doing this. It's like any other business, give yourself six to 12 months to get up and running and don't expect to be making big profits right out of the box, but it can be done. Put in the work, it's a lot of fun. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had in my life. I strongly encourage you, if you have an interest in it, to pursue it further. Uh, we don't just sell drones to people. We like to think of our customers as our family. We'll stand behind the product, we'll come behind and help you through any difficult times you have parts supply, maintenance tips. Uh, we have a whole tech team at Raptor behind us that can work through problems because you will have problems just like any other business. So if you think that you might want to pursue this type of an endeavor, we're here for you. If you got questions, give us a call. Even if you're not buying a drone from us, we want to help promote this industry because we think this technology is going to advance agriculture in a tremendous way. It, it really already is. So if you want to be part of that, Keep all aerial ag in mind. Uh, we will post all of our contact information and get a hold of us. We sell two of the best drones on the market right now. The uh, Vector AGR HD 580, and then the work we did today was with the XAG P150. Both of these drones can do anything any other drone can, and probably better in some regards. That's just a decision you'll make on your own. We're not pushing anything. So we appreciate you spending the time with us giving us a chance to show you how this works and what we do. And uh, we hope to hear from you. And 
uh, watch our video, click like, subscribe, and feel free to, to comment, criticize, <laughs> we're fine either way. Just engage with us and we'll try to help you through. Thank you.